Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about uh, arc routing, um, show you how to do arc or curved routing inside the Cadence PCB tools. So when we invoke the connect command, so root connect F3 icon or etch edit mode as we've been through several times, um, I can just select the connection part and by default we're coming out using a line lock of line and 45. I have settings here so I can say maybe make this into an arc and then by default I'm just getting this arc kind of pattern as I'm trying to work my way through the pin field you can see it's naturally just going to try an arc which is quite useful but I can be very specific I can kind of come out and then make an arc just by manually so click before I start the radius and then I can drag the radius to any size that I want so click on the vertical segment and you can very very quickly get the arc size that you want and get whatever you need so that's the manual way of doing it. Um, I can also do it, I connect, if I did something like the multi-line route option, um, make a left click. So I can add just some random routing uh, and then can join it up. So let's just go and specify some values here on the right hand side, click OK. So when I'm coming along, if I want to be very specific about where I'm going, I'm gonna use the IX two and two. So that would go two and then two up. So you can be very specific about the size of the radius. We'll do uh, IX minus three, three up. I've then added a, a radius of three. So we could do an, an IX, well let's do an IY actually. We'll do uh, back four minus four. So you can then drive, let's do that properly. So pick the point and then so, so it's I X minus four minus four to then drive where I want the radius to be and that's the size that I'm specifically typing in at. So once I've got those, um, slide will handle the arc. So if I've, if I've got the slide action and I leave this as arc corner, obviously I can maintain the arc that I need. Um, so that will maintain the arc size. And you can obviously adjust um, the different arcs that you want. If you wanted to increase the arc size that you wanted, you could do that as well uh, by specifying values here.